Okay, Limp Biscuit still sucks. Is their new album, it's not Stampede of the Disco Elephants, which we've been waiting for since Gold Cobra. Um, okay, still sucks. It's a very Limp Biscuit thing. It would work for Primus as well. Um, I think one time they were going to do something like that, but... Hey, Biscuit beat him to the punch, but Still Sucks is, it's pretty damn worth it. Um, so Out of Style, that's really tongue-in-cheek. It's a pretty good opener. A Dirty Rotten Biscuit, the second track, is a really good one. Hits home. Dad Vibes, no, nah, I still don't like. Turn It Up, Bitch. Sounds a little bit like Nookie. It's got a similar riff. Um, so, yeah. Dirty Rotten Biscuit, Turn It Up Bitch. Two really good songs. Uh, they did a cover of Don't Change by In Excess. Lim Biscuit aren't really good with covers. Um, you Bring Out the Worst in Me. It's not bad. And then you got three... Really short songs, Love to Hate, Barnacle and Empty Hole. Yeah, there's a couple ballads there. Um, now, Pill Popper is probably the heaviest one. Like, that's got some chocolate starfish vibes and momentum. Snacky Poo, that's very biscuit. And then Goodbye. Yeah, fairly, fairly good effort. So... Out of the Park, First Impressions, this is a good album. Fred sounds a bit better than he does on Gold Co Cobra. Of course, there's some great songs on that, but it's great to hear The Biz's new album. Personally, I like it. There's just one song I could care less about, but other than that, it's worth the $3 bills, y'all.